Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are about to start the next phase of our Martian biological experiments. We have the Hall of Fame completing next month. And yeah, I think it's all good. I think it's all good. Hall of Fame research complete. Space Science Libraries research complete. An immense repository of agency and space exploration history. The Space Science Library also serves as a vibrant learning center for the public. Okay. And the next fission maze. The next fission maze. Did I just say that? Next mission phase is ready for Martian biological experiments. Okay. Now, if we look at our research, we completed that. So, plus 10% support gained from successful missions. That's not half bad. We need to build our Hall of Fame. That is huge. Which means it's going here. And we do get a plus 2% reward from missions. That's a negative. That's nothing. So, yeah, it's going here. 475,000. Fine. Right, so we have three buildings constructing right now. This will be done in three months, four months, six months. Okay. Uh, is there something else that we can build? I don't think so. Oh yeah, space science library. Plus 10%. Oh, okay, we need to build it. I was not aware of that. That's a negative. We don't get any adjacency bonuses for this. So let's just build it here. All right, and that is done in six months as well. Okay. Now, what do we want to research? I am thinking that we research. Do we want to go to Neptune or Uranus? Uh, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, we're doing Uranus or Neptune. So, I do like the rings on Saturn and Uranus. <clears throat> right, let's see. No one has the research for Neptune. No one has the research for Uranus. Uranus is 109 months. Gives us a lot of science and some good support. Uh, 6,328 for Neptune, 6,988 for Uranus. And Neptune takes a lot longer. So why would I not choose Uranus? 1,473 support, 1,636 support. So more support for Neptune, but less for but less science and the other way around for Uranus. So I think we're going to Uranus. Uranus flyby, it is. All right, and then we have an active mission, our Martian biological experiments, which we will continue on. There's the red planet. Okay. Achieve Mars orbit. 10 comms, 5 nav. Well, it's 20 comms, 10 nav. And we have drift to contend with. Uh, minus 1 to 1. Okay. So... What can we do? Hmm. So we have four turns and four commands per turn. So if we ping the location here, then we... can turn that into data. Uh, 
Actually, why don't we do a visual spectrum sampling? And a location ping. That means we can do an orbital realignment and a data compression, which takes our drift straight back to zero, even though we are producing drift and quite a lot of it. On every turn except one, we'd still land at zero and we get six, three, and one. I think that's a pretty good start. That's a pretty bad start. We'll resist that. Come on! Uh, we'll resist that. That was better. And all good. Alright, so six, three, and one. Then... I pretty much think I want to do the same thing. 12, 6, and 2. Yep, let's do it. Oof, that was close. Nice. Uh, be increased by one, so that'll be three over that way. And this will take it three back. So that's actually okay. I can accept that. And this will take it three that way. What? Uh, assist. Okay. We have two turns remaining. We are more than halfway there on both of them. But we do need to recharge. So if we... Recharge twice. Then we can do this and this and get us to zero and 18.7. I think that's okay. What do we need to do next time then? We need to do a vision, visual spectrum sampling to get one of those. Then we need to do an orbital realignment. That'll take us to 9 and 19. Then we can do an orbital realignment again, because we don't need to worry about drift next time, do we? So... Or do we? No, we don't. So, if we do that, then we can do that and that. But uh, it says, that worries me, am I wrong? Do we need to worry about drift? I think maybe we do. So how about... We do this, and then we can do that. That gets us there within the margin, and we can resist twice. So visual spectrum sampling, good. Data compression, good. Flawless maneuver, good. And external sensor alignment, good. All right. 
Next task, perform Mars descent. Okay. And here we need to contend with heat. Cool. I love it. This is such an awesome game. I really love this game. Alright, so 14 and 14 I guess we need to get. Yep. And heat needs to stay below 3. So how about we do that and then do this. That takes us to zero heat. And then we can... Use three nav to get four and two. So that takes us to six, one and three on the first turn. I think I am pretty good with that. Damn it. Uh, we'll have to resist that. Nice. An extra data. And the packet transfer was good. So we're at six, one and four. And we get the, plug, the the two heat back. So that means that we can... Actually, why don't we do that and that? That takes our heat to zero. And then I think I want to do two flyover course adjustments. That takes us to 10, 10, and 2. Alright, let's do that. Nice. Extra nav. Ooh, that was close. And there we go. So that takes us to 10 and 11. So that actually means that we can do a data compression and a flyover course adjustment, and that gives us everything we need with more than enough power to resist anything that goes wrong. Uh, nice. All right, we did it. We did it. We are landing on the surface of Mars. That is so cool. I love it. All right. 6.6 .6 million we got for that. Nice. Very, very nice. And it took us to 20% on the Mars readiness. China is still the closest, but only at 13. Japan and Russia at 10, and NASA at 4. All right. Well, we have a mission slot available. I mean... We could do the Venus orbit, but we finish it fourth. I don't really see the point in it. We have a quest mission there. Let's just see if we have milestone missions that we can do. That's already in planning. That's already ongoing. That's not complete yet. So... Why don't we do the maneuvering evaluation? Because that will give us enough that we are allied with NASA, which gives us access to their contractors, which might be nice. Let's do that. We'll add some crew. 
build that puppy. All right. Uh, no joint mission available on Earth. Private space station. What's that? Supplementary boosters have no build time. Okay. It's quite nice. It's with Japan, which would get us well, not that much. Uh, the rendezvous attempt is nice, and the orbital way station is nice, and so is the global positioning. I want to do all of them. All right, well, let's just go to next event. Skylab crew return. United Space Nerds astronauts have safely landed on Earth after spending 12 months aboard the space station Skylab. The media have focused its attention on astronaut Rolf Rossi, whose EVA heroics and repairing damage to the station made them a household name overnight. It's the job, the astronaut explains simply in a televised interview. Any one of us up there would have done it. I'm just the lucky one who got to enjoy the view and the fan mail. Gained 300 support. Nice. That means that we are past the next level. So instead of 612,000, we'll get 660 something, I think. Well, that's good. And China completed the space station. Japan is launching Jupiter. We won't be able to do the Jupiter flyby, which is annoying uh, because we also have a challenge here. Finish Jupiter flyby first. But it's not that great uh, reward. Minus 50% vehicles research costs, but only for three months. It's not that significant. Gemini is complete and Neutral Buoyancy Lab is complete next month. So that's kind of nice. All right. To you two astronauts. And the maneuvering evaluation payload is complete. Minus 10% launch reliability. Oh, look at that payload reliability. Ouch. Vehicle boost against three experience levels after launch. Well, let's... I don't think I want to reuse the shuttle on this one. I don't think we need to. Right. It only costs 345,000. I have Beetlejuice and Horus. Uh, what if we did it with something else it will be way more expensive if we do it with something else yeah let's reuse the shuttle 345,000 our partner NASA will pay more than half of it so let's reuse this shuttle Composite casing, I don't want to use. I want to get some launch reliability, I think. Hmm. This is a really nice one, but it doesn't give me launch reliability. Could also go with payload reliability, because that would actually be kind of nice, too. You know what? We are going to go with the... Yeah, we're going to go with the advanced guidance system. Contractor, we still only have those two. 
but I might actually do this to get the launch reliability up. It'll take one month extra, but you know what? That's okay to get the launch reliability up to 77% because this will be a crude mission. So Beetlejuice, go. All right, we now have No, no, well there are some scientists available, but I want to see the tier two. Why didn't I get any tier two astronauts? That sucks. Well, maybe when we get the Hall of Fame. That's the Diplomacy Office, that's the Hall of Fame, in three months, we'll see. Sublime is complete next month, Intrepid is complete next month, and the Diplomacy Office is complete next month. So nice. And plus 25% reputation for successful joint missions, which we're about to do. Space Telescope Vehicle complete! Our... Ooh, mission training bonus is increased by 300%, but ooh, look at the launch reliability. Ouch. And the Sublime is the Jupiter flyby. Mission training bonus is reduced by 50%, but the launch reliability is up. Or payload reliability is up. Alright, so for this one, we're doing science. Just no doubt about it. And wow. What? Right, we're in September now. We can go in July. Well, we're going in July. Confirm. July 1981. Then we have the Space Telescope, which could really do with some launch reliability, so that's what we're training. Even though I would love to do science, we're doing the launch reliability. And we're going... We're going in March to get the plus 60%. And that takes us to 99. Actually, we could go in November. That gives us 95% launch reliability. I'm fine with that. Let's go in November. If we have to push it to after all those bad launch dates, then so be it. Confirm. All right. Milestone ch challenge deadline. I won't be able to do that. Uh, Hall of Fame complete in two months. Space Science Library complete in two months. All right, let's go to the next event then. Debate over lander results. Biological experiments performed on board your Martian lander Vesta have returned inconclusive results, causing dispute amid scientists. Some believe the recorded chemical activity suggests signs of microbial life, whilst others argue that there has been no clear evidence for that claim. That your majority agree that the further investigation is vital. Perhaps even with a robotic rover capable of moving around the planet and an analyzing multiple samples. Gained 750 science. Not bad. We really do need to get our science income up. And soon. Because right now it kind of sucks. Hall of Fame is complete, a place to celebrate the brave adventurers that came before. Also, the perfect location to drum up public pride in their agency's achievements. Increases the number of astronauts in the astronaut pool by four. Okay, and the Space Science Library is complete. An immense repository of agency and space exploration history. The Space Science Library also serves as a vibrant learning center for the public, plus 10% support gain from successful missions. Not bad. All right. So here's a bootstrapper. Plus one power for each unused command in turn. I want to hire him. 
I'm going to hire him right now so he doesn't disappear. I don't know if they do disappear, but I am going to hire him. It costs 170000 up front and 17000 a month. But you know what? That's okay. Metro, welcome aboard. And then we already have how many scientists do we have? We only have one scientist. Let's hire one more. All right, let's continue on. Next month, we're launching the space telescope, and the Beetlejuice is complete. Okay. Mission training bonus is increased by 100%, plus 100% launch reliability penalty for suboptimal launch window. So we're not going in, going in a suboptimal launch window there, that's for sure. Uh, all right, the space telescope. No one else even has the science for it. Uh, we are 95% reliability. Let's go. Let's get Hubble into the sky. That's a big rocket. I love it. That is so cool. All right. Good conditions. We have a 1% risk of going boom. Let's not do that. Come on, you big beauty. Go, go, go! Yeah, baby! No problems whatsoever. And we get... Ah, oh, that was close. Alright, Saturn V gets a little more reliable. And so does the Saturn II. Very nice. That is a beautiful telescope. We need 9 and 9. Well, 18 and 18, and we have drift to contend with. And we actually start outside, outside the area that we want to be in. And we get minus 2 at the start of every turn. Okay. Okay. So... Hmm. We have 12 power, which is kind of nice. So how about we hit this? We have four turns and four commands per turn. Then we'll... hit the boost transmission, which takes us up there to plus one, and then it'll go to minus one at the end of the turn. What's our... so 20% chance of a crit? Hmm. I think I'll use two power for the low energy radiation scan. And then two power for an orbital plane adjustment. That gives us six, six, and three. I think that's a pretty good start. And we're within drift range. Nice. Very nice. Good start. Good start. Ooh, two crits in a row. Nice. Oh, almost three crits in a row. That is crazy. And orbital plane adjustment is good as well. Beautiful. So seven, seven, and four we're at. So why don't we? If we do a uh, location extrapolation. That takes us to one. 
or to zero. Then we can do... couple of the gyroscopic stabilizations. That takes us to 13 and 16. And then I think we can use two more power for that. Confirm. All right. Beautiful. Ooh, that was close. Nice. That is wonderful. All right, so we can do two of these. That takes us to where we need to be. And then we can do a boost, uh, boosted transmission. That takes us our drift to the center and we can recharge power so that we can resist everything. That takes us to the, our 25% bonus reward. Wonderful. Well, that's okay, we can resist it. And nice. Didn't give us anything we need, but it doesn't really matter because we have already won. Very nice. All right. Achieve Earth orbit. Orbit done. Deploy space telescope systems. Let's do it. Let's deploy some space telescope systems. We need twen 10 and 26, and we again have drift to contend with. And wow. Minus three at the start of the next turn. And we have to be at zero every time. Every single time. So if we do a low energy radiation scan, actually, do we want to do that? What if we do a location extrapolation? And a low energy radiation scan. Then we can do a mission control monitoring, which takes us to the zero that we need to be at. And And we can do an ultraviolet imaging, taking us to three, eight, and two. Eight power left, zero drift. All right, man, bad start. Better, generate an additional two, nice. That was wonderful. Okay. So we know for a fact that we need to hit this once or we need to hit this and this in some combination three times. I think it's better value doing this. It gives us eight and eight. Then I actually think I'll hit that twice to take us up to 20 data. And... Then do a gyroscopic stabilization. That gives us 7 and 18. Still have three turns left, so... I think we're good. If we don't get too many of these, two would cost two extra uh, comms. That is crazy. Nice. Very nice. Two extra data for that. I'm going to assist that. All right. Now we know that we need to hit this, so let's just do it. Then we can actually hit this once.
from this once and do a recharge. We can resist once and we have 50% bonus reward completed. So if we only have to resist once, we're done this turn, but we have another turn to get it done if we don't do it. All good. All good. So we are done. Nice! 50% bonus reward achieved! Very nice. On their feet. Cheering. Beautiful. First on the space telescope. A little bit extra support. And then we get some science. 84 science for 120 months. It's not a whole lot of science per month, but it's for a long time and we get some nice support. So, not bad. Not bad. Alright, and we have a mission that we need to plan, and we have a mission slot available. But we're going to do both those things in the next one, guys, because we are running out of time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.